Hello YouTube, it's Tony. So today I'll talk about the Wars Retreat, aka the PVM Hub, which was released earlier today on January 27, 2020. This was developed because players felt left out from PVMing just because they didn't max. Here is how you get there. It requires level 60 combat in order to access. That is located north of the Draenor Lodestone, which as you can see right here, they reworked the entrance of Death's Office. So the south wall is Death's Office, while the north wall is the PVM Hub. As soon as you enter, this place is really big, so I'm just gonna break down each and every single section. First, I'll start with the War Shop. Right click the NPC called War and he will open up a shop. First, we have the Upgrade section. The upgrade is based on the total number of boss kills combined. Upgrades include Hub Teleport on your Spellbook, Extra Boss Portal, Altar to Prey just like the Max Guild, and finally, the Adrenaline Crystal which gives you 100% Adrenaline instantly. In total, you'll need 1000 boss kills. Then we have the Campfire Upgrades, which will then boost your max HP. The second tab we have are the Unlocks. Nowadays, what's really amazing is that you can buy all 3 Berserker Auras, the Vampirism, and the Dark Magic Aura without having to wait for the Loyalty Points. Unfortunately, it is removed from the Loyalty Points shop, so for those who have Loyalty Points, you will not get refunded for this, nor will you have the chance to buy this ever again from that shop. It does cost you several marks of war, so that's going to take you a while to farm this. Finally, the last section we have are the consumables. Items you can buy here include aura refreshers, which are based on the aura tier, and the ability to reset sign of life. So Tony, how do you get the marks of war? You get marks of war for every boss kill, which can be found in your currency pouch. This is generally scaled according to Jagex based on how difficult and how long it takes to kill the boss. Here is a full chart showing you how many marks per boss kill. Although it's not fully updated yet, but hopefully RSWiki will probably update this pretty soon. The unfortunate thing about Marks of War is that there is a cap of 1000 per hour. So the next feature I'll talk about are the decanting for the potions and flasks. By right clicking the war NPC you can decant the potions. Finally, we get to decant flasks without having to go to Ooglock, which is so amazing. See, this guy does more than what Max Guild can do. Located on your right, you'll see what has an altar, and you can pray at this, which will replenish the prayer points and the summoning points just like the Max Guild. Just south of the bank chest, you will see a campfire, but unfortunately, you can't just throw logs like a Max Guild. You'll click to warm your hands, and it will instantly give you a bonfire boost. By default, you get the regular log boost until you upgrade this using the Mark of War. Also, you will need a thousand of each respective log for every upgrade tier, all the way up until Elder Logs. The Boss Portals The reason people dream of maxing is just to access this. However, with the PVM Hub, you'll get not one, not two, but three boss portals that are usable. There are two boss portals you can attune in the middle which require at least one kill of the particular boss. It will cost 100k GP at first, although it's lowered to 50k if you've killed the particular boss 100 times. In order to unlock the second boss portal, you will need a combined total of 100 of any boss kills as shown on the Marks of War shop. The left side portal is automatically attuned to whichever reaper task you own. I'm not sure about the right side, but I think it's seasonal or something like that. Between each boss portal, you'll see what are called Yellow Adrenaline Crystals. Once again, you need to unlock this by having a total of 1000 combined boss kills. By clicking on them, your character will charge to 100% Adrenaline in only 5 seconds. You can do this an unlimited number of times with no cooldown. That means you can use Natural Instinct at 100% Adrenaline if you drop a dummy right beside this and after that, build back to 100% right before a boss fight. You can even use the Dragon Battle Axe special attack, which is amazing for melee combat. You have the exact same dummies as the Lumberge Combat Academies right on the east section. If you don't have the Adrenaline Crystal unlocked, you can just build Adrenaline right here, or you know, just test various DPS strategies. Unfortunately, at this moment, the very west section is not open yet. What happens to the Max Guild, Tony? Everything currently remains the same for the Max Guild, I feel like this is kind of dead content now. <laughs> However, it still offers you the Grand Exchange, which is pretty nice still, I suppose. As I've shown you most of the core features in the PVM Hub, 
let's talk about the feedback. In my opinion, this is a great update overall. As a matter of fact, this is the best update in 2020 so far, or the first great update rather. To be fair, the Max Guild is going to be dead content with the exception of the GE, but hopefully in the future, Jackaxe will find a way to buff the Max Guild again. It would be nice if they could remove the 1k cap for marks of war per hour, or better yet, make a soft cap after you get 1000 in that particular hour, where it gets halved until the hour is over. To wrap this video up, what are your thoughts on the PVM hub? Do you enjoy this? Do you think they did a good job of releasing this? Or do you think there are any improvements towards this? So yeah, thanks for watching and I hope it helps. If I missed anything, feel free to ask. Also, be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already because I'll do some PVM guides in the future as well as follow my PVM to max cash series.